Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm reviewing Lego set number 80104. This is the Lion Dance set from the new like Chinese New Year seasonal sub theme that they're creating. It has 882 pieces and retails for $80 in the US where it released in mid-January of 2020. Now the previous Chinese New Year sets were regional exclusives to Asia. Now LEGO has stopped regional exclusives, so all of these sets will be available to everyone from now on. And everything you see here is printed. There are no stickers in this set. It's like really high end. There's like so many minifigures. And I really, really love seeing these sets because I used to live in China and Singapore. And so like I've been very immersed in Asian culture for a lot for a large part of my life. And it's incredible seeing LEGO bring it to life with such care. So this is definitely the best figure of the set to me. It's the year of the rat for 2020. So you have this guy dressed in a rat costume, which is really cute. I believe that that's a new mold and that's exclusive to this set. You can see that it's got Chinese patterns on the front of the torso and on the back. And it's just a really great detailed figure. Now he's holding what I believe is supposed to be like a pearl that the lions have to chase. I'm not 100% sure, but it's just meant to be like an ornamental decoration. And that is printed on BB-8's body piece, which is a really great reuse of that part. And then removing the rat headpiece, he does have an alternate face. It's that like puking or eating face that Lego has used before. So here's just like a random civilian, I believe. She's using Wild Style's hairpiece unprinted in black, which is really great. You'll see her torso repeated on another figure and the legs are the same as the leg pieces used on the golden lions, which is like, it's really great that Lego made so many new leg prints and has distributed them so well. Now her accessory is like a little ribbon that you can also put in the lion's mouth. And these characters are Da Ji Da Li, and that translates to good luck in Mandarin. Around the back, you can see that she does have a little bit of printing and this figure does not have an alternate face. Here's another civilian. I really love that hairpiece. It's used on the Diner Waitress in Series 11. And you can see that she's holding some firecrackers, which I really like the build of. She's got the same torso as the last figure. And her leg print is reused on the White Lion, which again, it's, it's a really great leg print. Around the back, same kind of torso detailing as the last figure. And she does not have an alternate face either. This figure is using the leg print found on the Red Lions. And his accessory is really amazing. It's supposed to be a head of lettuce, which I also think is meant to be a big part of Dragon Dances. And it's just a minifigure head in lime green using Sabine Wren's hairpiece from Star Wars Rebels in a different green color. That's fantastic. They use Sabine Wren's hair as a plant in the Ninjago City set. And it's really great because it does look like a head of lettuce if you don't know that it's actually meant to be a minifigure's hairpiece. So I really love it when LEGO does parts reuses like that. The torso on this figure is also fantastic. Around the back, same kind of little uh, printing as on the last couple of women we looked at. And then he does have an alternate face this time. I'm not sure what this figure's role is meant to be. He looks a lot more official. I think he might be like overseeing the lion dance. Now he's holding a plain brown paintbrush with no paint on the end. And he's just wearing a suit, but he has a new color for that scarf piece which is really great to see because it only came in orange in the Lego Ninjago movie sets and now it's come in this red color for these Chinese New Year sets. There's a better look at his torso printing and he does not have an alternate face. Next up, we've got the three band members who have the same torso and legs shared across all of them, but they're really great prints, so I don't mind that at all. You can see that he's holding two like sticks that are meant to bang the drum, obviously, and then he's using that like pirate bandana piece in red. Now he does have a little bit of back printing and no alternate face. Here's the second band member. Like I said, same torso legs. Basically the only difference is the face and he does not have an alternate face either. Here's the last member of the band. I like him the best because he's holding th these little symbols which are made with those painted metallic gold dish pieces attached to stamp pieces. And I like his face as well. Although like the others, he does not have an alternate face which is probably good because they would poke through the bandana a little bit. Before we get into the lions and the actual other builds of this set, we do have this little side build that's just like a platform for the band to play. Now you can angle this drum forward and back that's made using a wheel piece, which is really great. And what I really love is that this figure, you can kind of just grab this piece at the back and then move him around 
if he doesn't bang into that guy and like act like he's banging the drum. So I think that's a really cute feature. And then this guy at the end, that's a frying pan piece, but I think it's meant to be a gong. So you can have this guy like pretend to be banging the gong. So that's a really great little side build. And I love how Lego like tried building in that feature of making him bang the drum. So first we're gonna look at the two red lions. Like I said, everything you see here is printed and there's a lot of cool new parts usages. So on the face, those are printed little like Technic ball pieces. You've got recolored bananas in white as well as frogs as decorations. That's a printed like round bottom like boat stud piece. You've got flowers used for the nostrils. Then the mouth can open and it's got a couple printed curved tiles in there. This is also where you can attach that ribbon I showed you with that character that says good luck. It just attaches right up there. And then you can have the lions like holding it in their mouth, which is a really awesome look. Now the head also moves up and down. And as you can see, all of these have minifigure legs inside them, which I think is super, super cute. You get so many extra pairs of legs and that way you can make them pose up on the platform and do whatever you want. And again, it's just a great thing because it's so many extra pairs of printed legs. The prints in these sets are absolutely insane. So all of these are prints. You've got this little tail at the back. You've got studs on the back as well if you want to put someone there. And then you've got more prints. And it's just a very high level of detail for a Lego set. And I really, really, really love how much attention and care that Lego's putting into this Chinese New Year theme. Here's the white lion. It's built in the exact same way, just with some different prints like on the side there. And actually there is a little bit of a small difference in the build where it's got these leaves on the edge instead of just tassels all the way through. I don't know why there's only one white lion. Um, again, I don't really remember a ton of stuff about lion dances from when I was little, but it, it's a great look. I think this is my favorite of the lions. I think the white and the red is just a much cleaner look than all of the others. And here are the golden lions. These guys are probably my least favorites just because like it's, it's a lot of gold. It's a lot of gold and yellow and I don't like it as much as the white and red ones. But they still look fantastic. Again, exclusive prints on these. And I mean, the bananas are in their usual color, but the frogs are in yellow, which is nice. That's not common, even though it's not new. The one thing I do wish is I wish either this uh, golden piece was done in the same flame yellowish orange color or this piece was done in gold because I don't think it looks good how they're two separate colors. But other than that, you can see that they do have that golden leg printing. And I forgot to mention on the white lion, but it's got that white and red leg printing. So here's the platform for the lions to dance on. You can see that there are eight separate little rounded platforms up here. And this entire thing is like built using a lot of large pieces, but I do like the way it was constructed. I like the pieces they used for the pillars because they aren't very wobbly. And I also like the unicorn horn pieces at the edge as well as those ornamental grates. Now to make the lions dance, you can grab like the rat guy and position him up here. And then because they have minifigure legs underneath them, you really just need to balance them on one leg. Now, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky, but most of the time you can get really good looks. And I don't know how many lions you can try positioning at once, but yeah, like I said, because it's like minifigure legs, they can be a little tricky at times. But there you go, like I can get those two up there trying to get the pearl that the that the rat guy is holding. Sorry, I feel like that's rude, but I don't know what else to call him. Um, but yeah, it's a really fantastic look. Now, the only other problem is that you've got all these extra lions that I don't really know what to do with. So I just kind of leave them here on the ground, just like running around. But yeah, that's a fantastic look, like I said, and it's it's very authentic and I really love that. Now, the other thing that the box suggests is that you can just lift this up and try not to break anything, but inside you can use that as a storage area for all of your accessories. So they suggest like just throwing in the pearl, you can throw in the lettuce, and if you wanted to, you can just take this girl's firecrackers. And that's really great because it provides a nice and easy spot for when you don't want your minifigures holding their accessories. And LEGO doesn't do that a lot, so I really appreciate it when they do choose to add things like that. The set also includes this little temple gate build, which again is just an incredibly beautiful build. I really love the use of the teal color and the roof looks amazing with the orange and flame yellowish orange combination. You've also got the frog details on the edge, which like Lego frogs work so well as just like little ornamental pieces, as you could see like how they were used as the ears on the lions. Now those are new prints up there. You've got that little dragon print up top, and then this is just like a, repeat, a repeating ornamental print. 
The way that they built like these little scrolling edges is great as well. The way that they built the bottoms of the pillars. It's just a very nicely built thing and it just sits there for decoration. And so just the amount of attention poured into something that's basically just background scenery is very impressive to me. Here are the extra pieces for this set. I think that the nicest ones are definitely that pearl gold sausage and the unprinted paintbrush. Here's the box for this set. All of these boxes are really beautiful and you can see there's that little spring festival like logo up in the top right corner. What I hate about this box though is that it makes the temple gate look so much bigger than it actually is. I don't like it when LEGO does forced perspective on boxes. It's not something they do often but they're doing it here and it makes that gate look humongous next to the platform when really the gate isn't that much bigger than the platform. So I don't love that. That feels kind of shady to me because it's because like, you might be expecting something much bigger than what you actually get. So I wish that they hadn't done that forced perspective kind of thing. And here's a quick look at the back of the box showing everything that you can do, which again, this is really just a display set, but they do have, you know, some features like that drum thing and what you can do with the lions. Here's the instruction manual for this set at the back there is a little ad of both of the Chinese New Year sets together for 2020. That looks fantastic. I did buy both of the sets. Um, I'll have a review of the Temple Fair coming up probably right after I upload this one, but it just creates a beautiful scene. I, I really love it. I really hope LEGO continues with the Chinese New Year sets in 2021. All right, so for the wrap-up, I tried to position the temple gate and the platform as close together as possible so you guys can kind of get what I was saying with the forced perspective on the box. Now, to wrap up my thoughts, $80 for this does seem a little bit steep. And so I'm assuming that's what most people are wondering. Like, is it worth $80? And you know what? While I personally feel like $80 is a little bit expensive, I would have much preferred $60 or $70. It has 882 pieces. That's a lot. And you know what? Lego fans are always complaining about stickers. That's like the number one complaint I hear from people. And it's really annoying to me because it's like Lego is already expensive. And you're complaining about stickers. And if Lego prints everything, then it makes the sets more expensive. And that is the case here. Everything is specialized and printed. And as a result, the set feels like it costs more than it's worth. But again, considering how high quality these Chinese New Year sets are and the, like everything is printed and like the great amount of minifigures per, like, for the, like the size of the set, I think it is worth the money. And also the other thing is it's never going to go on sale because it's sold by Lego and, and Lego only. So if you want this set, I would say that you should just go ahead and get it for the $80 because I don't think it'll drop in price because it does not seem like it's a terrible seller. And again, it's, it's much more high quality than your average Lego set. And I really appreciate that effort that LEGO is putting into this Chinese New Year theme. So, like, I remember one of my fondest memories is after getting my passport for the first time when I was, like, five years old, we walked out of the passport office straight into the middle of a lion dance. And that's one of my favorite memories. And I really love this LEGO set because it reminds me of that every single time I look at it. And so I just, I would much rather have sets like this that you have to pay a premium for than have them not exist at all. So that's pretty much my thoughts on this set. I hope you guys like these reviews. I think that these Chinese New Year sets are some of the best LEGO sets that they've ever made. And you should check out my Chinese New Year Temple Fair review set as well if you liked this one. So please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.